What's happening, party people? I am in Portland, Oregon, pulling out of here today, somewhere around noon. Stop, grab a park, visit somebody a little bit south of Portland, and then I'm headed over to Madras. I believe that's how it's pronounced, Madras. So, if you are in that area, Madras, Bend, Oregon, and I'm supposed to connect with you, please reach out to make sure I do not miss you. Don't want to go over there, miss you, and then leave. Probably not coming back. Even though I'm coming back to Portland for a day, probably Monday or Tuesday, we were doing the manual swap, found a problem with a power steering line. Those things are near impossible to replace. The engine's out, that's the time to do it. So we're waiting on parts. I tell people this is like the number one thing with getting my help is to have your parts. People ask me, they say, hey, when I'm in there replacing the transmission, what else should I replace? Hey, when I'm in there doing the brake job, what else should I replace? Hey, when I'm in there doing the manual swap, what else should I replace? You should replace whatever else is busted. What's busted? I don't know. You got to go in there and check it out. You got to see if your CV axle's busted. You got to see if your power steering lines are leaking. You got to see if your rack's leaking. You got to check that stuff out. Or when I get there, we're going to be tearing stuff apart. And then we're going to see it busted. You can't get parts like you used to. Used to be you see something leaking, you call a part store, run over there, pick it up. Now, with all of this supply issue chain stuff with truckers not wanting to work and picking and all this crazy stuff they doing instead of delivering parts, you can't get your parts. So, make sure you check your ride out, get your parts. I got several videos that show you how to check your vehicle out to make sure you get your parts. Then... If you mail order parts, my gosh, well, I lost one of my favorite viewers. This guy, man, good, good buddy, friend, whatever, lovely guy. Get to his place. He opens up his parts box. Parts are not in the box as he thought they was. Then he's ordering parts. I'm leaving, coming back, still don't have the right parts. Parts not fitting, parts wrong for wrong vehicles. I had to go. Life continues for me. Couldn't get his car fixed the way he wanted to. He get all mad, upset with me. Now he calling me the scammer. You know, I'm not in charge of getting the parts if I don't know what parts you need or want, especially if you're trying to do modifications. So get your parts so we can have a great time and keep our blood clean and hands clean. So that's where I'm at. Getting out of Portland today. Going to come back Monday or Tuesday for a, a one day, one night, and then I'm headed down to Eugene. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. All the driving around jostled it loose and that adjusting bolt, because see where the adjusting bolt is supposed to go through that thing right there, right? Just red, like this one. Red block drama. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> we got a turbo 940 here. What year is it? 94, like everybody else's. 94. Well, they made some 93 turbos, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it seems like everybody that's talking about their 940. Okay, so there. so so how much oil is this thing puking out the rear main seal? <sighs> I tell you, I, I have to add pretty continuously. I mean, you're, see, it's, it's dry again. That don't look dry. Wipe it off and re-dip it. It looks wet to me. We got a rear main seal leak. And Seth has got this. Man, there ain't no way. Were you were you planning on doing the rear main seal at here? That piece of concrete? <laughs> Dude, there is no way. I know. The more I thought of it. I like my life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be a lot more now. It's dry. Oh, it's Robert. dry. It's dry. Yeah. Dang. So you're losing more than a quarter a day, you think? Yeah. 
and, and you're using the, the car to run like you are you delivering your door dashing and stuff in it dang man that's that's rough yeah. and this so, is the window you say somebody knocked a hole in i believe it was a bb gun it keeps getting worse every day so i'm trying well to touch it's it, safety but. glass you know, one, yeah. once it it's not once the it cracks, that did it right? No, no. Once it Safety, once it cracks, yeah. it's supposed to shatter, so that no large pieces right. can cut your arm off. Well, there's another. You can guy. only get scratched by this glass. <laughs> you can't get really cut. There's another guy that the, the nice AFR, and um, but you know these junk, all these boost AFR. What kind of boost does it push? It's at 14 right now. Manual boost controller. Oh gosh. So all right, so. If you want to go to the junkyard and pull this well, window, I have a, I have a window. I found, shoot, I found, a, I found actually two windows. One off of a 740 parts car the guy has in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. And then I found one at Rich's. The guy, at, you know, Volvo's only Rich. How much he's gonna sell his for? I don't know. Well, I'm, how much guy, how much the guy want in the neighborhood? I don't know. He just said you gotta pull it. Come and pull it. Well, go pull it. We yeah, waiting that's on kind of like third base right now. Well, uh, you got a hole in your window. You need to put some tape on it or make it first yeah, base. <laughs> yeah, you need to put the tape over that hole, huh? Yeah, tape it. I mean, you got tape on the inside. Tape on the outside would help too. I should put some tape. All right, let me call. Look at them IPD bars, boy. This thing is set. Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody, this, put some, somebody put some. Somebody put some off in this car. So we did a discovery. We pulled and the adjusting nut dropped. off. The head of the bolt broke off that goes through the bracket that adjusted the tension. So, needs, yeah. needs one of them. Red block issues. So, basically. What's this stuff over here? What's this? this oh, thing I got to I gotta show you those. You're going to like those. It's some fogs. Like what? There, oh. There's some Bosch fogs. I got the relay. All right, RD you ready fog. to go see if they are over there shop? Yeah, man. All right, let's. Man, look what we got here. Red Blockville, baby. Yeah, I think you can see the water. Look at all these red blocks. We got them with S80 wheels on it. We got them with honeycomb wheels on them. Look like a floor mat covering that thing. We got them with turbo wheels on them. And we got some other things going on here. Look like some radiation poisoning going on here. Whoa! We even got a piece of a 240. That's like a two-footed motorcycle. What's going on there? Two-footed turbos, 164s, 160, 142s. This place is hopping jack. So, we need to talk to this guy about getting some Volvo stuff done for Seth's here because there ain't no way I'm pulling no transmission on that driveway. And when we figure out how to get in touch with these folks, we will get some stuff done here. Nice, nice. What in the world is this? A two footed pickup. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what he did. Like he can tell you all what he did, but that that blue wagon has a bunch of different stuff put put into one. They fastened it up. Oh man, he's got a little trailer on this deal. Look at them wheels. Nice. This sucker's a two-door wagon the too. Exhaust, the side exhaust. Wow. Yeah, this guy's been on the news lately. Uh, he helps locate uh, stolen stolen cars and stolen stolen motorcycles. Oh, really? He's so he's so he uses like, this to recover stolen motorcycles. I believe so. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he was on the local news. Some interesting rides here. Yeah. See if we can find the owner. Knock, knock. Yeah, I just called again. That's their cat that looked like he just woke up from a nap. He's got Ranger? He's got what in the world is this? Six on his, on his, uh... It's an Edsel. Wow. Folks, downtown somewhere maybe close. Robo Taco. 
Portland, Oregon. First time I ever paid more than three dollars for a burrito. This thing, <laughs> this thing must go give me superhuman powers. I realized, you know, here we go, folks. We got some real turbo red block for stuff me. happening here. here. In trouble, so Ooh, I didn't have a problem. Wait. This right. Now I can do a lot of things better, differently. Get that dual overhead cam here. Uh, it's okay, all racing at a sweep. You get this in the throttle body for top about 400 line. bucks. That's all top of the And line. then that's a sweet exhaust turbo header. Those are about 700 bucks. I still got to do the heat shielding, make the downpipe, put the wastegate flange on it. Wow. Install the hall tack, tap the manifold to the vacuum. I'm going to run a vacuum pump to do the booster and the control, but I just need a reference for the uh, right. hall tack and all Made that. Made in stuff. USA. We make it good it's 240 All, all Yoshi Fab boy. internals. Um, Forged pistons. It's got a 10 to 2.5 crank in it. Oh wow! Um, is this the uh, his his PC? That's a Yoshi. All right, so we got a no crank situation here. I'm gonna put a jump box on there, but we got a loose wire here. So my jump box here, when I hook it up, it's got that green light, and it clicks until it's ready for the car to crank it has I think both lights light up the green on the right and the red oh, on the okay. left but right now it's just mine used clicking, to have like a saying red it's not ready light. all right now I got both lights, okay, lights. we're gonna see if he could crank it yep. all right all right Try it again. All right, cut it off and try it again. Not enough juice? Okay. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.